Hey everybody, Joy here. You can tell by the scenery behind me that I'm in my different house today. Yes, I have just a few minutes to talk to you guys while my mother's in the shower. And how amazing is that? That is super, super amazing, you guys, that my mom can take her own shower now. Um, we have a medical equipment business, as you know, and um, at our other house, we brought home some of these suction cup grab bars and we suction cupped them to the walls in our shower there. But our shower there has these little bitty square tiles in it. And so for some reason, this, the, the things just fall off. I mean, you grab it and you just fall. So what's the point? <laughs> so mother has to have help taking a shower there. But this house has a different kind of shower. The shower in it is that smooth stuff, you know, that fake marble or whatever it is. It's not marble, it's that fake stuff, but it's all smooth, there's no cracks in it. And so Jerry brought home these two grab bars and they're really cool. Um, I'll stick a picture in here. Hold on for one picture. Okay, assuming that you saw the picture, <laughs> That one grab bar that's long, you can bend it so it can be an L or it can be straight or it can be bent down, upside down L, or it can be a V or however you want to arrange it. I just thought it was the coolest invention in the whole wide world. So anyway, I put that grab bar in there and put another grab bar and then we put the handheld shower and then we put a little bench for mom to sit on. So mom grabs the handheld shower and just hangs it down. And she can shampoo her hair, condition her hair, take her whole shower, dry herself, rinse herself off, turn off the water, and then she can get out and dry herself off. Hey, you guys, you may not realize it, but that is a miracle. <laughs> you know, for somebody, I mean, who wants somebody standing there looking at you when you're naked in the shower and, you know, handing you the soap and handing you the shampoo and helping you dry off, you know? It's really... Um, what do I want to say? It's, it's made her feel better about herself to be able to close the doors and be in there by herself and take her own shower and get her own self-dressed. So I'm really happy about that. i got to figure out how to make that work in my other house. Um, I may have to have Jerry just get the kind of grab bars that you just screw in the wall, you know, and they're there forever. <laughs> I don't know. He never wants to drill holes in anything, but we may have to. So what's going on? Why am I here? Well, this is our other house, as you know. It's two and a half hours door to door between our houses. Well, up here in this town, we have another business, just like we have down there. We have two businesses, both of them have a bunch of employees, and both of them are in 6,000 square foot buildings. And so, we have to come up here. Um, well, I used to come up here with Jerry, but now he comes up here by himself most of the time because, of course, I have mother. But uh, my dentist is here, my eye doctor is here, my varicose vein surgeon doctor is here, and so my heart doctor is here. And so I have these regularly scheduled appointments I need to go to, and so I keep trying to go to them. <laughs> but something keeps coming up, and I don't seem to be able to get to go. And another thing is, in this town, this is Edmond, Oklahoma, I have two siblings that live right here in town. They live in Oklahoma City. One of them works here in Edmond. The other one works 20 minutes from here, lives 20 minutes from here. I have another sibling that lives in Tulsa, which is an hour and a half from here. Okay? So wouldn't you think when your dying mother is in town, wouldn't you think that those siblings would want to come see her? Wouldn't you think? So... This is, if you guys think I'm sad and you think I look bedraggled and you think, oh, look, at she's falling apart taking care of her mother. <laughs> it has nothing to do with my mother. It has nothing to do with Jerry. Jerry's great. My mother's great. I'm great. We all get along great. We have Doreen. What hurts me and what upsets me the most on her behalf, of course, according to my sister, everything's about me and for me, but because of mother and on her behalf and because she has three other kids, I feel so bad. And on the day we bury her, if I even tell anybody the day she dies and I bury her, because I probably won't. If they don't want to come see her alive, why do they want to come see her dead? I, I bet you a million dollars they wouldn't come. <laughs> but anyway, on that day, they'll probably show up 
because they'll have their hands out. Gimme, 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 gimme. I want mine, I want mine, I want mine. Oh, I dread that day. I cannot tell you how I dread that day. So, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really, really sad. And, and I realize it's in probably your family and your neighbor's family and everybody else's family. Oh, my world, I hear it all the time that none of the siblings did anything except the one sibling. And all the others complained and accused them of stealing everything, accused them of wanting to be in control. You know, same thing. It's not just me, I realize that. But um, just since I'm here in this town and since I've contacted all three, two of them didn't even respond. The other one said, oh yeah, I'll come. And so I said, oh great, since you're coming, I said, when you get here, I'll leave you alone with mom and I'll go run some errands. Oh, she got right back to me and said, if you want to run errands, get a sitter. We're only going to stay there one hour. <laughs> so, and then she said that I was, uh, oh, I won't even tell you. You know what? This is Sunday. This is the day the Lord has made. And he gave me the wonderful opportunity to take care of my mother for some reason. <laughs> and so he must know I can do it right. And he must know that she's happy here. And so I'm going to dwell on that. And I'm going to try, like I do all the time, to erase from my mind that I even have siblings. <laughs> okay. So let's start over. Hey, Joy here. <laughs> it's Sunday, September the 3rd, 2017. And so I was saying, how come I'm here? How come I'm here? Okay, since I was coming, I was coming because I wanted to see the dentist and I wanted to see the eye doctor. And I don't know if I'll get to do that or not. But also... My sewing machine kind of broke. My embroidery machine. I'm making a quilt for my new little great-grandbaby who's going to be born in November. And he doesn't have a name anymore. He used to be Jack, but now he's not Jack. Now he's something else, and we don't know what his name is yet. So, um, he's going to be born in November, and so I was using my embroidery machine. You guys saw it on my last video. You saw the little police car. It's got all kinds of cars and cement truck and police car and ambulance and all that kind of stuff in it. Well, as my embroidery machine was embroidering, it was kind of going, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> I'm like, that sounds really funny. <laughs> and since I live down there, and the place that I have to take it to get it serviced is up here, another reason I needed to come up here, and Jerry was coming up here for eight days on business, I wanted to come with him, and so I wanted to bring my sewing machine. And you can't just say, here's my sewing machine, fix it. They told me they were 14 days behind. And so I thought, okay, I'm going to be here eight days. Maybe they'll take pity on me. And since I'm from long distance, they'll say, oh, let's go ahead and fix the lady's machine. I'm still hoping for that, you guys. It may not happen. <laughs> I may have to leave it. But when I was talking to the people, um, are you following along? <laughs> I don't even have coffee to drink through this long story. <laughs> As I was talking to this place, it's called Be So in and it's a wonderful wonderful store um, it's huge and they have this huge room for classes you guys <coughs> excuse me if you've been following me very long you remember when I took a class with Princess Di and my friend Deb from Missouri and we went there and we just had the biggest blast they had all these new it was on um, sergers there is I guess it's called the ovation it was on sergers and it was wonderful. We had such a good time. Well, it's the same place and it's the same kind of class, only this time, instead of on sergers, they're having brand new top of the line embroidery machines. Not, I don't have to use my embroidery machine. It's, everybody gets a brand new one. I mean, that's the kind of class I like. I don't have to take thread. I don't have to take scissors. I don't have to take notes. I don't have to take anything. They provide it all. And so you just sit down and some lady from Africa's coming there. And I don't really care for any of the projects, but I will learn new techniques that I can make other projects with. So, something about 3D poinsettia and 3D lights to hang on your Christmas tree. And then there's a third thing. Oh, I think it's a 3D butterfly. So I thought, oh, I could make a 3D butterfly and put it on one of Mom's new tops. So, anyhow, that's all day Wednesday. From, I'm going to meet Philly. You know my friend Philly. Hey, you guys might get to see Philly again. Philly's quit her job, which of course you know she works for us. And um, not us personally. She works for our business, for our company. <laughs> and um, she has retired and she just works one, one or two half days a week now. And so um, she's free all day Wednesday. And so I said, you want to take a class? And she said, sure. 
So we're going to meet for breakfast. We're going to have breakfast at IHOP, and then we're going to go to the BSO Inn and hopefully get to sit together someplace and um, take the all-day class. She has to leave early because she has to go pick up her grandkids, but um, I'll stay till the end of the class because I have a sitter. I had to call ahead. Uh, and I only had one day, thank God it was that day, that this sitter that's been here before was available. Because I don't like to get my mom a different sitter every day. Mother needs to know the face and the voice. And so she trusts them, seeing her naked, you know, and helping her with bathroom routines and things like that. You know, who wants somebody different every day coming in and seeing you naked? I don't. I don't even want Jerry seeing me naked, good Lord. <laughs> I got the lady that was here before, her name is Debbie, and so she's going to come and she's going to stay with mom all day until I get back from that class that day. So I'm really looking forward to it. And hopefully, since I've talked to three people there and cried on their shoulder about, I live so far away and I'm taking care of my mother, <laughs> they'll get my sewing machine ready so I can pick it up that day. Anyway, it's really hot in here with these lights, so um, I've got to stop this and... Um, Get on to my next project. Hey, you want to know what my next project is? It's another one of these. See? <laughs> I can't show you. <laughs> and I can't get up on a chair or I'll fall and break my neck. Let me see. Do you remember the blouse with the fringe that you all like? It's made out of this material. Everybody always says they love that blouse. Well, I decided to make another one out of it and I was going to cut the hem. See, here's the hem. And I was going to cut the hem and fringe it. But I like it so much the way it is, I didn't cut the fringe in it. So I'm getting ready to make another one out of this material. And I don't know if I'll fringe it or not either, but I love this top. I love it with a little cap sleeve. Better than sleeveless and better than three-quarter sleeve. So, and it only takes a few hours to make it because I've got my pattern, my sure-fit designs. See? My sure-fit designs all fixed for a perfect fit. This is the back, put this way back, and the shoulder moved forward, and this is the front with the shoulder moved forward, and the bust dart moved down here into the bottom. And I have taken the fullness out of the V right here. See? See how it fits my neck and it doesn't gape? Oh my, I love it to do that. So anyway, that's what I'm going to do this afternoon. And, um, hey, did you guys read my blog? Yes, 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 go to my blog. It's just a really, really short one. And it's got a link to my daughter's blog. My daughter started a blog years ago, but she never had time to really get into it. And since then, she's taken several classes to learn how to blog. And so she started her blog. The worst problem was finding a name for it. She wanted to be a chick that knits. Well, evidently, everybody from here to every other country is a chick that knits, and Tammy could not get that name. So she's a chick that knits with a Z on the end of knits. <laughs> but if you go to my blog, and there's a link right there, and it says Tammy's blog, and you can click on it, you guys will really be surprised. She's an amazing knitter, and she takes lots and lots of pictures. So anyway, let me know what you think of it, okay? And uh, I'll let you go, and I promise to smile for the rest of the day and not be depressed about my siblings, okay? <laughs> Jesus is Lord after all, and he has a wonderful plan for my life and my mother's. And oh my gosh, isn't Terry gorgeous? She's lost so much weight. Do you guys watch her Facebook page? She has a new picture on Facebook. I should show that to you. <laughs> if I can figure out how to copy her picture on Facebook and put it here, I'll put it right here. Okay? Okay, that's all. Gotta go. Be back soon. Bye.